Hey guys, welcome back to Double EXP. I'm Neff. I'm Chase. And we're playing some Banner Saga. Yeah. <sighs> we had a good fight last time. Yeah. Juno. I wasn't sure I'd ever see you again, Avon. She smiles and they embrace. Avon is completely taken aback, as though he doesn't dare believe she's real. I'm sorry. I couldn't make it to Sigurum. I ran into problems. Problems is putting it lightly. There's a mile-wide canyon practically splitting the world in two over those hills. Couldn't find a place to cross. Worse, Dredge are practically falling out of it like blood from a wound. They're not coming from north anymore. They're everywhere. We noticed. Glad to see you made it out alive, Ingvar. I take it the others didn't. Hacken becomes quiet, then he moves, motions towards Juno. She got across somehow. Found her out cold for a second time since leaving Strand. We need every axe we can get right now. Bellower is here. Gods be damned. I thought it was free of that menace. <coughs> I will deal with the Bellower. Come on. No need to tempt him by standing out here. Ooh. Oh, man. Juno's going to wreck some face. I hope she deals with him. <laughs> She'll probably just join our party and we'll have to fight him still. <laughs> yeah. Hacking's caravan enters the city, fighting off waves of dredge as they go. To your relief, hundreds of skilled warriors are now safely in Boer's guard. Mm, oh, Hacken. man. My oh, dog. Oh, my God. Yes. Hacken joins you on the wall with his personal bodyguard, Moger. Oh, my God. Behind him, the Prince Luden stands oh, no. alone, looking miserable. <laughs> oh, no. I have one last trip to make. I need this one to come with me, she says, pointing to you. I'm sorry, Avon. You must wait for me one, one last time. Do not let the city fall before I return. It takes everything within Avon's power to hold back, but he does. She turns to you. Rook, come with me. We'll return in two days. Maybe less if you're as quick as you look. Tell anyone who needs to know. Um, where, why? Not far, says Juno. She pauses and something shifts in your vision for just a moment. I know it's hard. <laughs> she says, her voice filling your head. And you've already been through a lot. As she speaks again, the rest of the world melts away. But you're needed. You can't find the words to argue. Did she just invade your brain? Invade your brain? Yeah. Dude, it's just <laughs> you two with the wagon. Yeah. What? Yeah, what dude. are all these things out here? What are those? Are I, those dredge? I think they're dredge. They look so weird. Yeah. You don't remember leaving the city, but here you are, walking through unfamiliar ground behind Juno. You're alone, aside from hundreds of a dredge, who are all facing toward an enormous stone ahead. The hairs on the back of your neck stand up. This is creepy AF, dude. <laughs> There's a stone singer. You see him up there, looking all fancy? Yeah. There's another one. Dude, Ugh. this is freaking weird. Yeah, they're all looking at that stone. There's three of them. Dude, stone stingers don't play. We're at the godstone of, of Strauss. <laughs> you glance nervously it. around, but the dredge didn't seem to hear her. It's okay. You can speak softly. Is this where <laughs> you're going to sacrifice me? <laughs> <laughs> Juno smiles. What could have come across as profoundly creepy looks sincere instead. No, the dredge cannot see us. What? What the crap? To be more precise, they can see us, but I've convinced them to be unconcerned. I can understand oh. your apprehension, though. Juno waits patiently for your reply. <sighs> what are we doing out here? Do you know the god, the god Strauss? If you know this stone exists... Even amongst those who have lived their whole lives in the in Borsgard. While Dangler Yeah, Dangler. Dangler deals in for, uh, fortune, Strauss taught men the value of trade in different ways. Or in a different way. He showed them it has consequence, two sides of the same coin. See the silver in the stone? The gale the gales up here uh, wear away the stone, but the metal remains. I can't. You can do this. I believe. <laughs> we need a piece of the silver. It's just reading it from this far away. <laughs> the god Strauss is, is uh, wreathed by imaginary silver weapons. The myths say he traded these weapons to the gods. And they used them to kill each other. 
Oh. Those who seek out the stone call him the god of, tr- uh, of trade. The menders call him the god of secrets. He was both. Uh, why did you pick me? Why didn't you take Avon or Hacken? You don't even know me. I apologize for putting you in danger. Avon must keep Borsgaard from falling while we are away. And if something goes wrong here, I need to be certain one of us makes it back alive. I saw thoughts of each person when I arrived in Borsgaard. You were the only one I knew would return. What do you mean? You would find your way back to Alette no matter what. Oof. Who are you? I wish we'd ha- we had time for proper introduction. My name is Juno. I am the one. I, I am on the Minder Council. You've met Avon, my apprentice. Who are you? Uh, how are you doing these things? Controlling minds? I thought Minders built things and healed wounds. You are right. Minders do these things. Some of us still practice the teachings given to the Loom Mother's first creations. We are called Valka. I believe I am the only one who can influence another's mind. Then why not take control of Belawar? I learned the talent to heal minds, not control them, though even some, even some Valka have trouble believing this. Taking control of Belawar, it is the difference between convincing a child to sit still and telling a starving bear to stop being hungry. Oof. Mm. The truth is, we're, ready, er, we're rarely a match for the Sunder anymore. Our advantage is that we can train more Valka. It is also our weakness. The Valka pass on loose their uh and oh pass on and lose their knowledge, while the Sunder simply grow older and more powerful. Bellower is both immoral and, and beyond my influence, to a point. Then how do we stop him? The god of secret will play a part, as will you. They seem to be drawn to the godstone. There are many things we don't know about the Straubs. Maybe they see him as a patron, or it is an attraction they cannot explain. Does Straubs have something to do with the serpent in Einertoft? What was that thing? I cannot say. Can't? I have many, or I have my sp- suspicions, but until I've had time to m- the Minder libraries, I w- it would be unwise to speculate. For all our knowledge, it always seems though we know little. Imagine how the rest of us feel. On the contrary, less people the less people know, the more certain they tend to be. Indeed, you'll need to dislodge uh, need to dislodge at least a fistful of the metal. We will forge it into an arrow to slay Bellower. Ooh. Wait, after everything you've told me. Make a magic arrow to shoot Bellor. That's all it takes? Why didn't you do that a long time ago? Juno gets a faraway look in her eyes. No, this is not all it takes. What I tell you now must not be repeated. The arrow will not kill Bellor. Even <laughs> even where it, uh, even if it were to strike his heart. He has no physical weakness. But it will it will sow doubt in his mind. When it pierces him, I will help him to believe that he is dying. The rest of you will convince him of it with sword and axe. Everyone who fights at your side must believe it to be true. You are going to trick him into thinking he's dead. That is the most insane. He really can't be killed? No. Someday he will awaken and realize he's not dead. I imagine he will be quite upset. <laughs> First, we must make the arrow. Focus on the task at hand. She looks knowingly at the godstone, waiting for you to start climbing. What the crap? Rook, I am not certain how the dredge will react when you do this. And behind us is a sudden drop. Oof. So be careful. Well. Wow. Uh, Let's see what happens, right? Yeah. Man, that was so freaking much. Yeah. Holy crap. That was. 
Where are you guys going? <sighs> Approaching the back of the stone, you start to climb, looking for a loose piece of the silver vein. Even without looking out onto the dredge, you can feel each sinister face watching you closely, held back only by Juno's influence. Panic races through your blood. Um, viewers might hate me, but before we get into anything crazy, oh, next time. Oh, <laughs> bye, guys. Bye.